Hello, this is John from WP Mayor, and today we're reviewing the Slider Revolution plugin for WordPress. Slider Revolution, of course, is a slider plugin, and it's available from CodeCanyon.net. The price is only $15 for the regular license, and as you can see here, it's been downloaded more than 6,800 times. We've also seen that the average star rating is 4.71 out of 5, which means that it has an excellent rating and many of its customers are really happy with this plugin. It's barely been out one year, in fact it's less than a year, it's been created in, in July 2012 and it has received numerous updates throughout the past year. On the Team Punch website you can actually play around with the transitions, the rotation, slot amount and all the other settings of the plugin so you can quickly check some of the features of this plugin even before you buy it. And as soon as you change some settings here, you see the preview change. For example, now we've tried out some bullets. While if I want thumbnails as navigation, you've got them here. You just change setting and it will be automatically updated up here. One other thing I wanted to highlight is the fact that it's fully responsive so you can change the screen size and the slider will change size accordingly this of course is very handy on mobile devices so even on mobile phones ipads and other mm, tablets it will dis display very nicely that's the responsive feature of slider revolution you can also have a full width slider so it will scan across from left to right of the whole screen and you can also of course have a fixed width slider slider where you enter the number of pixels of width you want for the slider with regards to other previews let me show you some of the coolest examples of slider revolution in action we've got the cartoon theme from AIT teams and this slider here, including the video, is powered by Slider Revolution. So you can see the layering feature here. Layering is actually one of the coolest features of this plugin. It's really easy to create layers. Look at this example, you know, it's very beautiful. And yet another example here. Again, we can have a video and even play it can even have images, video and text on the same slide overlaid. And here's again another example of the layers sliding in. You can change all the options with regards to layers, the, the way they enter the screen, the way layers overimpose each other, all that is easily changeable as we'll see in a moment. All right, so it's now time to take a look at the, the way Revolution Slider actually works. So I've gone ahead and created a page called Revolution Slider on my default vanilla WordPress install. Here is this page and here we're gonna be inputting the slider when we've got it ready. So back to the dashboard, we have the Revolution Slider item in the dashboard menu. And of course, the first thing to do is create a new slider. So we need the slider title and there's a handy example of what this should look like. We need an alias. So that will be slider one. And we've got the short code which we'll need to use in our page. So actually I can go ahead and copy that and paste it within my revolution slider page. That's it. So, back to our creation of slider, we can choose, and these options are all editable later, but right now you can choose the slider type, whether it's fixed, responsive, or full width. If it's fixed, you can choose, of course, the slider width and height. For now, I'm gonna give a full width slider size. You've got also a number of settings on the right hand side and the nice thing is that 
the screen is not cluttered at all you have all these options and they just drop down depending on what kind of option you want there's options related to basically every aspect of your slider so I won't really be going into them but just know that probably all the options you will need are here so that's it we create our slider and next thing we've got to insert some slides so there's the edit slides button here we hit that and it's time to upload some slides so new slide here i would actually have preferred if i could upload uh, slides in bulk but i haven't really found a way to do that so let's insert maybe three slides and our slider is ready actually that's it so go back to slider settings it's what we've done earlier and we've got a finished slider with three images and we can actually go and test that out so here it is the slider and its basic behavior so it will just transition between one image and another obviously there are many many effects you can apply to the transition but at the moment I have got it set at random so as you can see there are random transitions being applied back on the admin screen I would also want to highlight the fact that you can also easily delete and duplicate sliders plus you've got a handy short go reminder here and the handy preview button which opens this pop-up where you can see the slider in action now as regards to slides things get interesting when we click the edit slide button and you've got a very nice interface here where you can actually change all the settings pertaining to a particular slide so you can change the transitions you can even unpublish it you can change the number of slots the box divides and in, divides into and rotation these are all transition related settings and of course the transition duration there's a delay so the delay means how long the the image is going to be visible before the next slide comes in and you can also enable a link say I wanted to link to the main page on my site that's all I need to do and you can choose of course which where to open this new link and yeah that's that's basically it we can also enable full width video in that case you can use your YouTube video or even Vimeo slight spelling mistake here but works fine and you can also check this box if you want the video to start playing automatically you can also choose a thumbnail which will apply if you've got the thumbnail view right here instead of buttons as we've seen earlier in one of the demos and that's basically it for slider settings now the interesting feature here is that um, slider revolution is very good at creating layers on a slider so you can add a text layer an image layer or a video layer and we're gonna be taking a look at this right now the layer interface for creating these overlays is this one so basically you can create a new layer which defaults to text you have the image layer or the video layer so for creating a layer of text you just hit that button and you can of course edit the text which is editable from down here now the nice thing is that you can uh, just drag and drop the item wherever you want 
and you can also choose from a set of predefined styles as we can see right here in the case that you chose a particular style but you need some fine tweaking you can also hit the edit css file button and you've got the css controlling the sample text here you can of course just change the uh, the, the css properties for that sample style for example here we've got the big white style so i can easily change the color say to i don't know green for example update and as you can see the, the text has changed and we've got one layer on the right hand side here you can choose the animation so we've got all these animations and also the easing which is especially useful when you've got images which are really representing objects coming in you can sort of make it more lifelike then you've got the speed of the layer coming in and you can also link it to one of the slides okay so let's go ahead and add an, a layer image which would be clicking that button and I have stolen this penguin image from one of the example websites I'm gonna go ahead and put this here and we can also of course use some uh, styling doesn't apply of course on the, in this case but animation easing and speed do apply and we have the sorting here so as you can see you can change the way layers overlap on each other again by drag and dropping so let's take a look at what i've created till now so you know it's just uh, fade in at the moment but let's say i want the penguin sort of to come out to come in from the right so i choose uh, long from right for example and let's say i want an elastic effect let's check it out again and yeah you see it just comes out from the comes in from the right hand side of course you can tweak things until it flows really nicely but this is just a demo so that will do for now let's uh, add a video layer and we've got the option to add either a youtube video or a vimeo video we've gone ahead and grabbed a youtube video id i'm gonna paste it right here Hit the search button and you've got the video I selected just here. And I'm gonna hit the add this video button. Again, you can drag and drop. So you can put that wherever you like. And we have this layer sorting again. So that's quite a good example, I guess. So let's check out the preview. Okay, and you can see that I can also play this video. Works fine, so that's it. Those are the layer video samples. Of course, what you see here is just really very basic stuff, but if you check out the examples I've spoken about earlier, I've got a link. There are some really amazing examples that you can follow and even download and import into your project. With that overview of the layers functionality in Revolution Slider or Slider Revolution, if you prefer it, we've come to the end of this review. And as I've said earlier, it's a very nice plugin to use. You've got no problems whatsoever. It's very user friendly. And as you can imagine, all these previous purchasers weren't wrong and you know the five star rating here says it all but 
I can also add my recommendation for this plugin. It's a really well-made plugin and it's highly recommended by WP Mayer.